Hello, everyone. We are getting started. People are filling up the room. Hello, dear creators. How are you going? <laughs> Good, Hello. thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> ready? Thank are you, you all ready? So we have from Australia and all the others are in Germany right now? I'm in right. Greece, I have to admit. You're in Greece, all right. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah. Much well, nicer here than in Germany right now. So we're gonna, just going to chat a bit until uh, the room is filled. I see the numbers are climbing. So um, yeah, three. we have four German creators today. No, wait, one, two, three. <laughs> three German creators <laughs> and one English creator. Um, and um, yeah, hello, everyone. Hello, Stephanie. Tell you're a, a linguist, Gabriel, not a mathematician. <laughs> oh, my God. I was I, wondering... <laughs> I was wondering who was going to make the first joke about language versus math. <laughs> well, funny enough, funny enough, I was much better in math than in Engl uh, than in languages in school. So yeah, really, yes, it, it was. It's too long. It has been too long since I haven't been in school. So everyone, <laughs> do you hear us? Do you see us? Say hello, everyone, in the chat, please. We can look at yes. chat. Oh, nice. See the chat? Hello, hello, Dimona. hello, Michael. Oh. Hi, hello. Michael, Colette, all right. So <laughs> people hear us. Great. All right, then let's get this started. Um, so what is this? We are here at Expo Lingua. Hello from Germany. Hello from Norway. And we have our influencer talk where we are going to ask four language creators about, um, about their life, about what they do. And um, you can ask questions in the chat. Just, just type them in the chat and I'll ask them. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's start with introductions. And I'm just gonna go clockwise from what I see at least. Um, and let's get started <laughs> with Katya. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, hi, I'm Katja. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel called Deutsch für euch. I've been running it for almost eight years now where I teach German online, mostly in English, but also with some German thrown in obviously sometimes. <laughs> And uh, I'm very focused on grammar. I now also do a lot of um, uh, listening comprehension and generally just try to make learning German fun and also systematic, which might sound contradictory, but I don't think needs to be, so. Thank you. Charlie? Um, yeah, my name is Charlie. I run a, a YouTube channel with my best friend, Harry, and it's called Real English with Real Teachers. Um, because we wanted to expose our students to the way that British people really talk. And we don't say it's raining cats and dogs as much as the textbooks imply. <laughs> so we interviewed Londoners and uh, we tried to capture colloquial English, go to the pubs and see how they're speaking to better help our students. And then recently I've just started a, a podcast called the British English Podcast that is um, kind of the same, but digging a bit deeper into culture and an academy on on the side of it that allows people to sort of memorize in a more interactive way all right is your is you being in australia influencing your accent in any kind of way you're <laughs> I'm, I'm, English, hold, right? I'm holding so. on to it i'm okay, holding on to it no i've been in america before that so yeah i'm, I'm trying to hold on to the british accent yeah. very good all right constanza Yes, so maybe I'm going to start in English and then I'm kind of trying to introduce myself in German too for the others. Um, sure. So my name is Constance and I'm also kind of like the others e-learning addicted. Um, and on my channel, you can also learn German easily. But right now it's kind of more gra grammar based, uh, grammar focused. Um, and in future, I'm trying to do it more yeah, daily used, you know. Uh, and maybe uh, also in German. Hallo, mein Name ist Konstanze. An alle, die da sind und die Deutsch lernen. Ähm, ich bin auch Deutschlehrerin. Bei mir lernt ihr auch per Video und E-Learning, äh, wie ihr ja, Deutsch lernt. Momentan ist es noch sehr grammatikorientiert, aber in Zukunft wird es ein wenig alltagstauglicher. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Anna. You're welcome. 
Hello. Yeah, I'm Anna. I started my channel in 2013 back then. Um, it was more of a hobby. I was teaching German and sometimes my students couldn't come. They were sick. And so I started to make small videos and it was really fun and I really liked it. Um, I'm also <laughs> grammar focused and um, I recently, I'm, I'm now learning Greek by the way, and um, I've learned a lot of languages at university and I'm trying to think of a method to make it more interactive, more, more easy. I'm, I'm still thinking about this, um, but right now I have, I have vocabulary videos, grammar videos, um, I have a website and also um, I'm selling ebooks on um, Amazon to learn German. Cool, thank you very much. Um, I'll, I'll finish up the round. My name is Gabriel and um, I have been in languages as well. Um, I have a company called Spring Languages and we actually also have a YouTube channel, but because I'm not as good as these other, as, as you are on camera, um, we actually hired five Spanish teachers um, to run five weekly uh, Spanish lessons on our YouTube channel, Spring Spanish. And uh, yeah, and um, we are doing language events as well, where I've met some of you. I've also met Harry um, at the Follow Languages Day last year, which was really fun and uh, which we're having in January again. I hope you'll come, you'll all come as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, so you are now in the public eye, more or less. And um, <laughs> how has that impacted your lives from be before to now? Katya, how is it? Now, are you getting recognized on the street? Um, <laughs> are, more, are you getting more messages than before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, I have gotten recognized. Um, I don't share where I live and stuff much, so usually people are very surprised. I actually had a thing um, a few days ago where a friend was helping me with um, preparing for my final Russian exam, which I had took yesterday. <laughs> um, and... Uh, at the end, we were talking about her German exams, etc. And I was like, oh, I have a channel, actually, if you want to, like, check back up on some grammar or stuff, or you can ask me just like that. And I sent her the channel, and she was like, wait, I actually watched your videos. What the hell? Like, I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> so I guess the not recognizing happens, too. But yeah, that definitely has happened. More messages. Um, I would say it can both contribute to general happiness and general stress levels and unhappiness because um, it's very nice to know that you have an audience out there and that you're contributing something to the world and adding value in some way, um, helping people, teaching people. And it's really nice to get feedback about that, obviously. Um, but then of course, you also put yourself into that creator loop of like, what's the next thing I'll do? Do I need to do more? Do I need to do this? Um, and you're always on the clock, basically. Um, but generally, I'd say it's it's been a very positive experience. That's why I'm still doing it. <laughs> Katja, can I ask, do you look particularly different in your videos then? Not really. I mean, I usually no. wear beanies, but uh, oh. that's about it. I mean, I don't okay. wear any sp prosthetic noses or anything. Well, I, don't <laughs> I don't think she probably she just didn't watch like the whole library. She just saw a few videos and it might have been a couple years ago or something. And, and then she met me in real life and uh, didn't put that together. So I guess uh, that happens. Out. <laughs> nice. Charlie. Um, how has it affected me? Um, not 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 too much really we we really enjoy uh, meeting our our students so we've done immersion courses where we hire an airbnb and we have like eight to ten people living with us for a week and it's it's really cool uh having a group of people that are quite like-minded it seems like having a youtube channel allows people who are quite similar in their own personalities to to pull together and then the whole week is just amazing. So for that fact, it, it's it's quite um, warming. We did get recognized on one of those trips as well, which was a bit of an ego boost. I mean, like, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. It happens all the time, but it's never <laughs> happened since. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's pretty right, much cool. it. All right, Constanta? <laughs> um, yes, for me too. I would say basically that... Um, 
my life has not really changed except on the weekends <laughs> because it's a lot of work also to to work on the videos and on the website as well but it has kind of uh, enriched my life also because uh, when you got all the feedback from the people and you can really see directly that it helps someone and that you have a big impact on that um yeah i would say that it's uh, the main thing <laughs> All right, and Anna? Well, I'm not um, as the others, I guess. I'm not in front of the camera, very rarely. Um, so I make more PowerPoint presentations. I don't like to be on the spotlight that much. Um, but actually it happened to me once that I was recognized. I was always uh, working in a small cafe in Friedrichshain that was pre-corona times, obviously. And um, Oh, yeah, one uh, lady working there was like, um, sh I think she saw my screen after a couple of weeks, me going there nearly every day. And she was like, oh, my God, that's you. I'm learning with you. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was very happy. And she was so sweet uh, that she was so excited about that. <laughs> um, has it influenced my life? Um, well, yes, it has. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm not, not really living, but I can stay a lot of months uh, here in Greece, um, working from here. It's, I'm not only doing um, the YouTube channel and the books and um, the homepage, uh, I have also other um, online projects, but still it, it was a start. It was a start to think about a life so that I'm not based in Germany, that I can have nice weather. <laughs> um, yeah, so yes, actually, it has changed my life a lot because everything started with this small YouTube channel. Yeah. But Anna, you, the, your, your identity is now out. <laughs> your face is now out there from this video. You've Bruce Wayne yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I have some videos. Yeah, I have some videos or just uh, the intro. Yeah, people, but it's, ah, come on. They want to learn German. They don't want to see me. Yeah. Right? Not both. <laughs> you're like, don't be you're too like sure of that. You're like the seer of German. <laughs> it's the, the last seer year of we German. Actually, <laughs> Not bad. Last year we did, we did yeah. a similar event um, in Berlin and it was about learning the language. And apparently everybody came and they didn't really care that much. They cared about the people behind it. They asked, and that's also why we're doing this this year this way. So I wouldn't be too sure about they not caring about you. Maybe not yet, but as soon as you're in front of the camera, that will change. <laughs> You'll get your fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let, um, let's throw in some questions from the chat. Katya, how good is your Russian? Are you at a C2 level already? Thomas I don't, is asking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm at C2, but uh, C1, um, I have to have, because otherwise I probably couldn't have passed yesterday. Uh, so yeah. So you know already, you passed? I did. I passed with flying colors, and now I'm exhausted at all levels, mental, emotional, physical, but worth it. <laughs> and I no longer have to study. Oh, was it hard? Um, it was. It's been eight months of nonstop stress, and wow. and thinking I can't do this, and just anxiety up the wall. But hey, <laughs> now I only have to write my thesis <laughs> in Russian. No, <laughs> luckily no, because <laughs> then I think I'd take longer than I have. But um, yeah, no, I I think my Russian's fine. I'm starting to gain more self esteem. I think it's pretty good, but so far I've been very self-conscious, so yeah. <laughs> what are you so studying? Masiva at the chat. Uh, yeah. I'm studying to be a school teacher for English, Russian, and uh, politics, or political science is the subject, but it'll be like social studies. Um, and so, yeah, and uh, since I'm still under the... Um, mm, like the diploma is not a master's degree it's equivalent to a master's degree but it's overseen by the state so the whole exam process is a bit more like the state officially um so stress <laughs> so that's what it is cool so which leads me to the next question what are your plans for the future katya planning to open a russian channel or political science channel or something <laughs> 
I've I've definitely thought about diving into uh, Russian in some way, either Russian for German speakers or for English speakers or German for Russian speakers, like something like that. Um, no serious plans yet. Uh, right now, it's kind of out in the open for me, I'd say, because um, I've continued my studies throughout all this. I've basically had the channel for as long as I've been in university. So the plan has always been to actually go for what I'm studying. But that might still change when I finish and... I might also go into a more behind the scenes kind of thing. Right now, I don't have a clear path. I'm just trying to finish my degree. <laughs> cool. Charlie? Um, well, I said earlier that I've just started a, a podcast uh, called the British English Podcast. And yeah, I'm, I'm totally fascinated by it, a bit too obsessed. My girlfriend um, tells me to stop working sometimes, and uh, yeah, I can't really can't really see beyond that at the moment. I think I'll be doing this for the next five years, building it gradually, and um, continuing to put a bit of effort into my YouTube channel still. But um, yeah, personally though, I might be moving back to the UK in about three years, depending on COVID and things. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you decide to go to Australia? Um, so I've got dual citizenship because my dad was born here and it was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a no brainer, really. We kind of, we came over here to see my sister get married and we fell in love with the, the beaches, the climate, the culture and yeah, the wildfires. It, was, it was hard for us. <laughs> we didn't fall in love with that. No, that was, Sorry. that was quite sad. <laughs> Catch yeah. That's yeah. I don't know how to make that, um, not 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 serious but yeah <laughs> um apart from that it's been good it's been good yeah how did that impact your collaboration with harry being not in the same place anymore because before uh, that well, we were always in the same place right you were filming together we we would meet up to film a lot yeah but i was actually living in a different country then so we've never lived in the same sort of neighborhood so we've always done it over over Skype or Zoom or something. Um, the time zone uh, change has, has caused conflict and we've always been like finding it difficult to meet in the middle. But um, yeah, we make it work occasionally. We've done more content individually actually since this. Yeah. All right. Constanta? I also have a few projects in the, in the near future like expanding my website and uh, also starting to write some short stories to learn German. Um, but uh, it's not like kind of a clear plan as well. I'm just trying new things and uh, yeah, let's see if it works or not. And personally, I'm trying to learn Spanish right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also very hard because I already speak a little bit Russian because I've been born there. But um, it's not on the C2 level, Katya. <laughs> so maybe you can teach me a little maybe bit. Maybe we can practice together sometime, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Спасибо. <laughs> Спасибо. Yeah. All right, then you should definitely check out our YouTube channel, Spring Spanish. <laughs> yeah, probably. Why not? <laughs> Anna? Well, um, I'm... Yeah, a lot of has changed for me recently, like um, I'm a mom now, um, that means I don't have too much time anymore um, to work or I don't want to have too much time. Um, I, I really um, still, I love doing the videos. Um, I, I have a few ideas. Um, as I've said, I want to do it more interactive because I'm learning now Greek and I just don't have too much time. I don't have time to watch like a 20 minutes video um, explaining me one part of grammar. Um, and I'm trying to, yeah, I've, I've thought a lot, a lot about this. Um, and I also have very another project that uh, is, it's a bit of project from my heart as a YouTube channel, but even more so because it's, it's writing children's stories. Um, and, and I have done this with my best friend. Um, she's a mom too. And we, we have done an app um, like uh, Tara's um, Geschichten or Tara Stories. And it's a multilingual children's story app. And yeah, we really need to um, 
promote this. <laughs> um, and this is, yeah, so I have kind of two babies plus a real one. <laughs> um, and sometimes the day is just too short. Cool. Then um, let's go over to some questions from the chat. How many languages do you speak or which languages do you all speak? Katja? <laughs> well, I'd say the, the ones that I'm actually proficient in are German, English, and Russian. I took French in school. Je parle un peu, but I, I think I could survive. Um, I understand quite a bit of Japanese still, but my active vocabulary keeps dying down because I don't like focus on it at all. The other day, a friend of mine said, Atarimai, which is obviously, and uh, I had that thought of like, if somebody says that, I know what it means. But if you ask me, do you know what obviously means in Japanese, I would immediately say no. So I'm kind of at a like two year old level in Japanese, I feel like. <laughs> I also took Latin in school, but that's not really a spoken language. And then bits and pieces, like I've dabbled in Italian and Spanish and Swedish, but uh, none of those I speak. It's just, I love languages. <laughs> Cool. Oh. Anybody else Old Norse. wants to answer? <laughs> Norse. Right. Anybody else wants to answer that question? How many or which yeah, languages um, do you speak? I like um, the languages where I could say I could survive and more than survive, like have a nice conversation is probably like English, French, um, maybe Italian, but I've kind of, yeah, I've forgotten a lot. Um, I have studied um, Arabic in uh, Farsi at the university, wow. like uh, the Persish lang Persish, okay. Persian language. Cool. Arabic, pff, you know, vocabulary is going down, down, down. And you've probably heard of the theory. Once you learn a new, new language, you learn it with the accent or the background of the language, language you have mastered before. So now that I'm trying to learn Greek, Arabic pops up all the time which is kind of nice oh wow i do remember something on the other hand i'm, I'm really trying to um to learn greek and i want to learn yeah greek now it's really different because i'm i mean i was in in, in morocco for a few months but um now you know now i'm really here and i want to uh, let's say there's an emergency or something I, I really want to to speak it on a very very good uh, level I, I totally feel you. Like I'm learning Polish right now, and my last language was Hebrew, which I haven't practiced for years. And still, yeah. words from it pop up when I'm trying to speak That's Polish, it. which is yeah. so weird. Like so many <laughs> other languages. Yeah. I, could, yeah. I used to have the same thing in French class. Was just what does kitchen mean? And my brain keeps going kitchen in Japanese, kitchen in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, Constanza, Charlie, anything you wanna you wanna talk about your language skill? Well, sure. Ma Charlie, mine would be start. sorry, Constanza. Um, I'll I'll quickly just say that um, I'm a bit <laughs> bored, really. I I don't have um, many languages to my name, not really. Um, <laughs> I'm not actually in the linguistic sort of arena. I I did psychology and then started doing um, NLP and furthering with like psycho therapy kind of thing and then I just took a complete change in direction and, and went traveling and started teaching English and um, yeah I learned Spanish for about a year and then um, my life took me to Germany for a little bit so I was confused about which language to study there um, <laughs> Spanish or German still um, and then I did German for a little bit and now I'm over in Australia so um, yeah I've got I've got be got beyond the beginner level of both of them but very very um little beyond that i need a few beers before i start speaking any spanish or german that really helps doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> you should start with german you have three teachers here <laughs> yeah <laughs> at first you yeah. lived in berlin is that is that right nuremberg nuremberg okay oh that's where maria yeah. lives isn't it yeah, Maria. Well, I don't know. Deutsch mit Maria. Yeah. There's a lot of Marias in this community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and and uh, Constanza. Yeah, I cannot add much, not that much. I also took uh, French and Italian lessons at school, 
But、um, I would say my Italian is like really basic, so I would never survive there. <laughs>、um, but would, they're so nice. Yeah, I'm sure they're nice. <laughs> but I would also like to communicate with them, and I just cannot. I'm not able to do that. But、um, yeah, I, I've been born in Russia, as I already told before, and、uh, I, I guess my German is、uh, quite good, and my English is I don't know, B1 level maybe. So. <laughs> I would say that's it. I can also dance to express myself with <laughs> that language. <laughs> do any of you speak sign language, or do sign? Do you say speak for sign language? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's no, a pub quiz, isn't it? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, Thomas Dai、um, and and Tim Keeley is also writing in Japanese. What、well, obviously, or of course,、yeah. he, if that's the Tim Keeley I'm thinking about, then、uh, he speaks. A lot of languages. A lot. Unfortunately,、like、I can no longer read more than like five kanji. So apparently, obviously,、yeah. the first one is atarimai. The second one, I can only read takata. So,、uh, right. but I'll well, I'll trust him. Ask, ask, ask <laughs> him. He he has lived in for thirty years in Jap Japan now,、oh. and he speaks he speaks like I don't know twenty thirty languages or something. So he is definitely the person. Yeah. Wow. So, Chapeau. That one, Amazing. <laughs> More than thirty <laughs> languages. Nice, nice, Tim. All right.、Um, next question. So we are today here on Zoom, which is really unfortunate because last year was much cooler in person in Berlin. So that is obviously the impact that Expolingua had, which is to go online. What impact did、um, it have for you?、Um, since you're doing everything online, did it have any impact at all, Katya? Uh, I'm sorry. Were you? Not, I'm not sure what you mean by the question. Like impact. Like the the the, the corona situation. Oh, the situation. Well, <clears throat> more so in my personal life, I'd say, because I definitely notice it in my everyday, having to stay in lockdown and being responsible, etc.、Um, and a general, I think this is also just a very communal experience. A dip in mood, motivation, constantly being kind of stressed, but kind of. Subdued, and then this thing of like, I have time now. I should be productive, and then the whole time, just that's the least thing, the last thing you want to do.、Um, as for the channel, I think we're very fortunate as online creators, since that's already our space anyway. So at least for me, nothing much changed except for、um, since I、uh, have a Patreon where people can like.、Um, Uh, give money for、uh, episodes on a on a voluntary basis, just like a donation thing.、Uh, I definitely, very sadly, saw some people drop off there for financial reasons, for losing their jobs or having other changes occur in their lives,、um, which mostly to me was you know sad to see that happen to people in my community、um, because I'm I'm fine because I'm still doing the same thing I did before. As an online creator, basically, it's just more of a personal mood, personal life thing. I think. All right, thank you, Charlie.、Um, Australia has actually done quite well. They they don't have too much of a, an issue with it, and Sydney particularly. Melbourne got hit quite bad, but、um, yeah, we had like a I don't know a four to six week lockdown and. And then since then it's been back to normal. The only downside is is not being able to travel. So my, I think my sister and my girlfriend's two brothers have all had kids since. So we still haven't seen them, and they've just、mm. had their first birthday. So、mm -hmm. it's it's quite sad for that. But yeah, apart from that, and and you know, it's amazing that we've got technology to keep in contact. They know our faces at least. But、uh, yeah, I feel quite lucky because Australia is is quite safe at the moment. But touch wood, yeah. <laughs> I would say we're very lucky to live in Germany, <laughs> and、um, for me there are two parts. On the one hand, it's、uh, the personal part, and、um, I'm I'm I'm、uh, I started this channel like for my hobby, so not much has changed for me either,、um, because、uh, I'm I'm not teaching face to face、uh, to the people. But of course,、um, on the personal side, I'm very sad that I also cannot meet my family or my friends.、Uh, I had birthday a few weeks ago, and uh, that's uh, the point where you see、um, that、uh, it's a very hard situation for all of us. 
but uh, we are very lucky that we have uh, the possibilities to meet the people online like we do today. Anna? Yeah, I guess I'm a bit the same um, as Katya, what Katya has told. It's like you, you hear from people um, that they um, don't have jobs anymore. Um, I heard from, from students um, or from, from people on Patreon, I'm also on Patreon, that they were getting their dream um, master in Germany and they couldn't go there. Um, and this is all like really, really sad. So, and it really affects me. I have to admit, like um, the whole situation in the whole world, it, it makes sad. And yeah, you, you could be productive, but then you can't. <laughs> and, and on a personal um, level, we are very happy um, to be in Greece. Um, the situation here is very good. Uh, we have a kind of complete lockdown, but what is lockdown if you can go to the beach right there? Um, every day it's yeah it's <laughs> it's really okay but then also um, we don't have a babysitter right now because of the lockdown here uh, so that means I can't work as much as I would like to right and uh, Katja you mentioned before and and you as well on uh, your patreon that that you have a community that supports you um, maybe you can talk uh, everyone a bit more about your community comments, messages. Do you have the chance to answer them all? What kind of messages do you get? Um, what, how do you communicate with your community? So let's talk a bit about community, Katja. Oh, that's a lot of questions uh, at the same time. Um, well, Pick community, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, well, community has always been important. I think it's, it's maybe one definitely one of the biggest parts why i even started doing this uh i definitely do have a bit of a of a uh, i don't know do you call that exhibitionist or maybe you just call it narcissistic side to me um i like to be in front of people i, I think that's also something that contributes to wanting to become a teacher like teaching is always also about presenting yourself right so having a community is great <laughs> because you get to interact with people and you get to see people enjoy, uh, in my case, my native language, which is also great because I think um, you don't really get an idea of how people perceive German until you start teaching it. Uh, you might have some ideas of it, but um, people are really excited to learn German. And that was new to me. So that was, that's great. And then answering questions uh, leads to me actually thinking about new aspects uh, of the language myself. Um, there's a lot of love and there's a lot of also interesting people that just come and tell their stories. And that's also always interesting to hear like, oh, I used to live in Germany or um, I have ancestors from there or I want to go there someday because A, B, C, D. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of like, touching stuff and I've actually made friends for my community by now. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very enriching overall, I'd say. Katja, you said um, that you've, you've got a, a patron community um, and you like doing, you like to be an exhibitionist. Do you think, is that <laughs> part of your patron? <laughs> I knew that word was gonna lead me down a path. I do have not yet started an OnlyFans. <laughs> Um, no, that is not a part of my Patreon. <laughs> and I, keep, I do keep a line there. I got actually to maybe go a bit, um, a bit into like veer into story time territory here. I actually did get, uh, years back, I think within the first year of doing it, I got, um, I got an offer, uh, through email for, uh, some sort of a, what do you call it? Like a sugar daddy type of relationship. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. okay. so wow. you know really i don't think i'm business savvy enough i could be making tons of money by now i guess <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> a lot yeah. of aspects like i said you're asking a lot of questions at once here gabriel <laughs> <laughs> all right maybe charlie can answer all of the questions that i asked at once <laughs> um you might need to narrow it down for me so what's what's co the community aspect like how do you interact with your community um 
what kind of questions, like, do you, are you able to answer all the questions? What kind of questions do they ask? Right, yeah. Um, we do a lot of live videos, so we get a lot of this kind of stuff coming in, um, we being me and Harry, and we normally just um, shit chat along all the way through the, the lesson to try and keep it quite authentic. Um, and a lot of comments are really relevant when we ask them these kind of example sentences to use the vocabulary and we read, read that out. And if it's funny, most of the time it is, it's brilliant to point out. Sometimes they, they ask like, how do I improve English? And I'm like, how do I answer that specifically? <laughs> like that, that's what I'm trying to do for you. So sometimes yeah. the comments, I can't That's respond to if they're vague, <laughs> but um, most of the time they're brilliant. They interact in hilarious ways that we just can't help but read out and laugh. I've gotten yeah. that before as well. Can you teach me German? Yeah, that's yeah. I'm, that's what yeah, I'm trying exactly. to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I get these emails all the time. Like, please teach me German. I'm A1 and I need to be C2 in three months. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I, I get no sometimes problem. emails. I get sometimes emails. I want to learn German. That's it. Like, just Thanks I want to learn exactly. German. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Exactly. Good for you. Yeah. Full stop. You made the first step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe also vague questions like uh, Charlie already told before. Uh, they're not very specific and you, you just need to answer. Okay, sorry. I don't know you. I don't know what you're good at and what kind of learner you are. So... How can I help you? <laughs> Although I think those questions are always like, they always evoke like split emotions for me. Because sometimes people like really pour their hearts out and they're like, here, this is who I am and what I do. And I'm, I'm from here and I really want to study this in Germany. And I really have a problem with my application right now. And so can you please help me? I'm trying to go to, I don't know, Freiburg. So, and, and I'm like, I, I don't, I'm not the administration <laughs> office in, in Freiburg. I wish I could help you, but I have no idea. If I needed to do this, I would be just as lost as you, except I have the advantage of speaking German. So yeah, sometimes it, it gets to that point of like, I wish I could help, but I, I'm, just a, I'm just a silly language teacher online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, just because you're in a public eye, some people just give you, think you're the authority on everything and you, you have the, an answer to everything, like even completely unrelated, uh, completely unrelated stuff with uh, not even the language. So it's, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, you're an expert yeah, we, on everything relating to, yeah. in, in our case, German, Germany, et cetera. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. is nice. We, Thanks for the credit. Do, but, like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. When we do the immersion <laughs> courses, we have some people... Um, messaging saying, can you sort me out a year visa? Kind of like, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Come to my house. Yeah. <laughs> now, I think it all comes from a good place. Like we joke about it, but it's, I think the, the underlying is a misunderstanding of how complicated these processes are and um, showing that there's really no other connection point uh, and also showing exactly. how, how strong of an influence you have as an influencer as much as most of us don't like that word. Um, yeah, do you feel as influencers? I'm not an influencer. I'm a language No, I teacher. don't. But factually, by yeah. how they define it by now, we are. Because, well, I mean, maybe as someone who doesn't show their face a lot, maybe you can still claim more so than the rest <laughs> of us that I'm not. I'm just a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's whether you want to or not. You have, you have an influence. You have a certain response. Of course. Of course. All right. And Constanza, you want to talk a bit about community? Yeah, and that's also the point. We have a, a responsibility for the people. Uh, maybe just to to finish uh, this discussion, I also read some yeah some comments from people who are looking for an apartment, for example, who don't know where to live. Um, and sometimes I'm also on that point where I would like to help, but I don't know how. <laughs> um, and to uh, go back to the community uh, community questions. Um, yeah, my community chain, uh, channels personally are mainly Instagram and also uh, YouTube. And I'm sometimes so, so sad that it's just not possible to yeah, to answer all of that questions or, and all, all of that uh, questions like more specifically. <laughs> uh, but yeah, community is also for me still important. And um, the most great thing is um, to see and um, yeah, 
to to maybe kind of track how the skills of the people are developing from month to month and uh, this is kind of cool <laughs> it's lovely when people stick around for a while like there's a few people yeah. who've been following my channel like from 2013 i don't know what they're still doing there that german is perfect but uh <laughs> <laughs> It's really nice. Right. And Anna, community, what about you and your community? Um, again, I'm not so good at community. Sorry to say <laughs> that. Um, what does that mean? It just means, you know, like, for example, when I, I think when I finish my your master. Your students. Um, Let's say your students, if you don't like the word yeah. community. <laughs> no, it's like, for example, when, when I finished my master's, like, I just, I, I had a stop. I guess I wasn't. Uh, looking at anything for three months this just happened sometimes to me um, not anymore but back then um, like four, four years ago something like this um, in, in Patreon um, I have the Discord app and it's not yet used so much um, um, people are more using YouTube to ask questions and sometimes yeah sometimes I just can't answer them because I, I'm not doing this every day. I'm not um, checking the questions every day. Um, and sometimes I, I read something and I was like, oh my God, this is two weeks ago and you had an exam and now it's over and I feel really sorry for you. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so um, I guess somehow it's just too, it's growing. It's like, it's just too many comments. Um, I, I can't answer all of them, which really, but I, this live video thing, yeah, I really should do more like this, but of course, like on Patreon, yeah, there, I'm there, and, um, there I also have live sessions and it's, it's amazing to get to know, um, German learning people from all over the world. And it makes me also really humble, like really seeing oh my god like you're sitting there and there and um yeah and you're learning german through my channel that's wow thank you and one last question because we're running out of time and katya you actually already kind of answered it or maybe not um weirdest experience that you had so far i'm not sure was that that weirdest experience with the sugar daddy or did you have <laughs> weird experiences with your channel <laughs> I'm gonna regret mentioning that, aren't I? Um, <laughs> no, that wasn't. That was. It was a memorable experience because you know it's yeah. But um, no, like focusing on the the positives and most of what's come out of this has been positives. <sighs> Making friends, um, like I'm generally kind of iffy on the point of becoming friends with like fans fans because you tend to not be a real person to someone who has like this parasocial relationship with you and that can change but eh. but um when i went to st petersburg for a semester i got an email after i announced on my channel that i'm it, you know it might calm down a bit with the videos because i don't know how busy i'll be there getting everything straightened out um, I got an email from someone saying hey so i saw that video i've actually lived in st petersburg all my life um, so if you want, I could show you around the city a little bit if you need help getting around here. Uh, and just to prove I'm a real person, here's my diploma from St. Petersburg University. And <laughs> I thought that was so adorable that, you know, we ended up meeting up and uh, we're still friends. We actually talked the other day. Um, he's also a teacher. Um, so that was a really nice experience. And, uh, generally I could, you know, name a few more. Uh, I've actually made actual friends and, um, even people I haven't met there are faces I recognize and there are journeys I can, I can see happen. Um, so like spontaneously, um, I'd say that is like a perpetual fulfilling or nice thing to see people coming back, to see them improve and to even make connections without like actively trying for it. All right. Good job for ignoring my question about weirdest experience. But oh, was weirdest. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought sorry. most standout experience. It's all right. You it's should have right. interrupted but me. You, 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 it was interesting to hear. <laughs> what you're doing, Katya. You, 
exactly. But so then Charlie... weirdest, I think the sugar daddy is definitely up there. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it's good. Then you're already answered. Charlie, what about you? Yeah, struggling. I wanted to listen to Catch's answer, but um, yeah, I I remember actually we started off at a similar time to another YouTuber who um, collaborated with us very kindly because she was massive at the time and still is. And she would get so much fan mail of like weird pictures of her and like just really strange imagination of all of their subscribers and and the, her videos on different platforms illegally and and having to take all of this content down. But me and Harry, we've got nothing like that at all. And we've almost been like, God, it'd be great if someone draw, would draw us and just put it up there. It'd be, it'd be I'm fantastic. Your ass. <laughs> <in our pot>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nothing too weird. I think the meeting people just out of the blue, it was it was weird because it was only one day has it ever happened and it was in one restaurant the waitress said oh you're charlie from harry and charlie the youtube thing and i was like oh great amazing lovely and then she sat us down and then another girl from the restaurant totally different she came over to us and, and said the same thing so it was a bit of a, a coincidence that but yeah that that's pretty much as, as weird as it gets for me but yeah if anyone wants to send me a drawing please do <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not weird it's nice You've opened Pandora's okay. box. No, well, it depends on the, on the drawing, doesn't it? Mostly it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, Constanza? Yeah, I also got a drawing in the past, but I kind of love it. It was beautiful. Um, but I wouldn't say that it's the strangest thing because it's not weird at all. The weirdest thing for me is um, that my mom follows me. <laughs> And it's kind of oh, yes. the strangest thing ever because I'm 30 years old and I still sometimes feel like I'm five. <laughs> and she's cheering me up all the time like, yeah, girl, you're doing great. And I'm re reading it uh, inside the comments and I'm like, oh my God, mom, you're embarrassing. Please stop. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah, cute, but weird, but cute. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and to wrap up, Anna, did you have any weird experiences? Yes, I did have a weird experience. It was a couple of years ago and I was, um, I had, I had um, discovered the YouTube space in Berlin and it was really cool um, to go there. And, and then I had a friend and she was working for the BBC formerly and she asked me, well, could we go there more often? It's really nice to go there. And I was invited to a YouTuber party. So I was... 28 maybe and I felt very old very very old <laughs> and all the others like coming you know I have this sex education channel for Malaysia and the other one I'm the magician whatever you have never heard of me uh no sorry <laughs> they were all like these was that one universe. channel was that one channel the magician and sex <laughs> <laughs> no completely okay. different people but they were all like very i was like feeling they were like oh my god these are the youtubers from today it's obviously not me <laughs> but it was it, it was and, and then like ah you, you don't show your face like really not how do you do it then? <laughs> so yeah i could i could feel that um, YouTube is really also like there are different generations, you know. Um, and I'm oh, I'm not kind of these cool YouTube that have like thousands of fans and they're the real influencers. Uh, yeah, I think there's different just categories, right? It's just it's a huge of course, space of course. right now. It was just interesting that YouTube, you know, like this YouTube party was obviously. Yeah, there were these other categories mm. of, of, yeah. Anna, you should probably right? go to a TikTok headquarters then. <laughs> there you will meet a sex People education magician. People came to me and said, you should go on TikTok. <laughs> and I was like, well, I have heard of that. I've read really interesting news about that. <laughs> this okay. is, yeah, this is all... Yeah. Sorry, I, I was forced to, to end six minutes ago. Um, so let's wrap this up. Um, let's do a group photo. Um, 
And oh. nowadays terms that, that screenshot. So everybody waves to the camera and I'll do a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And um, thank you very much. Unfortunately, I wanted to ask a few more questions from the comments, but I didn't get to them because mm -hmm. you all had so interesting stories to tell. Thank you very much for participating and um, see you next time. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very Bye, much, guys. Bye. Nice to meet you all. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Take care.